What's up YouTube, this is Fraught, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make something a bit like this. So basically it is a vocoded vocal, and this is using Vocodex, which uh, those of you who have FL Studio will know that it comes with. Um, it's a pretty simple process, uh, it doesn't take too long at all, uh, and all you really need is the vocal to use it on and something to create the chord. So I'm just using Massive, just using a simple saw wave essentially, so you can pretty much use anything. So uh, to get started, what you want to do is drag your vocal in uh, to the playlist. And then you want to put it on an effects channel. I've got mine on just 25, just because there's some other stuff going on in the song, and uh, just wanted to keep it away from that on the mixer. Don't worry about all these effects; they're all just things I put on afterwards. I put the T-Pain effect on because the vocal was a little bit bad. It's just a vocal I got from Splice, uh, so it's nothing too special. But yeah, so I'll show you what the vocal sounds like by itself, anyway. Let's just get away tonight. A bit loud, we could run away. Yeah, so, so that's with the uh, auto tune on that part. Uh, so, yeah, once you've got that in your mixer channel, what you want to do is get your VST that you, you're using, so massive, and you want to drag it into the channel before that. So, I've got my vocal on 25 and I've got my massive on 24. And then what you want to do is you want to click on the one that your VST is on and you want to right click uh, down here onto the onto the vocal channel and click root to this track only. I would recommend turning this uh, all the way up. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the rooting process. It's quite easy. Um, and I would recommend turning this one down to pretty close to the bottom. You don't want to turn it down all the way, otherwise it won't come through. But if you turn it up too far, all you'll really hear is the synth and not the, uh, the vocoded vocals. Go back into your uh, vocal channel and then you open up your vocodex. So the first thing you want to do is make sure this one up here on the top left is zero and the one next to it is on one. Uh, the next thing, just turn the wet all the way up. I found this sort of gives you the best sound. You don't have to mess with any of these. You can turn the sound goodizer up a little bit if you just want it to you know, come a bit fatter. Then for the bands, it's usually at like 45 or something kind of high. I usually turn it down to about 20, 25 when I'm vocoding. And I turn this just over halfway, sort of like one o'clock. And then so with this knob, with the modulator pitch shift, um, just turn it down to uh, the left side a little bit. It, it kind of works on both sides, I just find that this um, kind of, it's got like a more bassy kind of feel. This you don't really have to mess with, I just, there was something I didn't like so I just kind of took out this region here. That's pretty much it for what you do on the vocoder. You'll want to mess around with the bands and the uh, band width here probably depending on your vocal, but around there seems to usually work. Oh, and I forgot to mention actually, before you do that, you need to put some chords in your uh, your VST, so I'm using the Massive. Make some chords that you want uh, the vocoder to basically play. So I've just got this at the moment. If I turn this back up, you'll be able to hear it. So it's not the cleanest, but... So just those chords going on. Um, so once you've done that, paste that pattern in with the vocal and you should be able to hear a vocoded vocal. And you'll see what happens when I turn up uh, this one, you'll hear the synth more in the background and the actual uh, vocoded vocal will also get louder but you'll notice that you get that sound that you probably don't really want. So I'll play that, uh, it's going to get a bit louder, but yeah. See, uh, so obviously it becomes much louder, but you can hear in the background the kind of like sizzing of the uh, massive. 
So that's why I keep mine as low as possible where while I can still hear the vocoder. And then what I've done is I just um, chuck, you know, a, a compressor on. Which, um, which just adds that extra volume that you need, that you might need in your vocoded vocal. You might also have noticed that on the right here, I don't have this turned all the way up. Now what that does is, instead of just playing only the vocoded vocal, you can also hear the original vocal in the background a bit. So if you're going for just the vocoded vocal without the original one at all, then turn this all the way up, which will sound kind of like this. So you can't really hear the original anymore. But once you uh, turn it down a little bit, it sounds uh, a bit more like this. So you can actually hear the original uh, and then the vocoded ones in the background. I find that actually creates a really nice effect because you can still understand what's going on. You can still hear what the vocal is saying. It sounds really cool if you chuck it in the same like chord progression as another sound. So I just got this like kind of synth underneath it. Um, just really low, just, just some rise, and you'll hear what it sounds like with the vocal. So yeah, that's a basic tutorial on how to vocode vocals pretty easily using the vocoder, and obviously there is heaps of space to mess around with this. Uh, in the vocoder itself, you can change the sound just immensely. There's a whole lot you can mess around with. Um, you know, you could start adding effects like flanger and that kind of stuff. And you'd probably get some really, really cool vocoder effects. But this is kind of the most basic kind of way, in my opinion, to do it. Um, and it creates quite a nice, quite a nice uh, effect in the background, almost something like Daft Punk. So yeah, hopefully you guys found that useful. Don't hesitate to ask any questions in the comments if you get stuck with anything. Let me know if there's anything else that you want to see me uh, make a tutorial of. Uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to check out my SoundCloud link. I'll put it in the description, and it should be on my channel where you can go out, go and check all my music out. Thank you guys. Uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial.